Okay, so, so far we have assumed that a specific resistance is constant, but that's not always the case. The specific resistance might be pressure dependent, and it might be possible to use this equation here, alpha e equals alpha zero times delta p to some power s. And if you plot t uh, divided by v against v for different pressures, you may might get something like this. So at low pressure, you get this line here. And at high pressure, you get this line down here. Uh, why is that? Well, you can compare this with the reason why we introduced alpha to begin with. We had uh, an expression in the filtration equation that was one, one divided by the density of the particle, one minus the porosity, and then the permeability. And then we introduced alpha to replace that in our equation to make it look a bit simpler. But if delta P increases, uh, what happens with the porosity, and for that matter, the permeability? Isn't it so that if we increase the pressure, we might actually decrease the porosity of the cake? Uh, and that might in turn change the permeability, right? So there is something going on here. Uh, and we won't go into the details, but just say that, yeah, uh, you can use this equation in our course, alpha equals alpha zero times delta P to a power S. And to get to this S, you have to measure alpha at different delta P. And then you calculate alpha for the high pressure, uh, and the low pressure and the intermediate pressure, and then determine uh, the S, the exponent there. Filtrates is something that is connected to both the outlier we saw in the filtration example and this uh, pressure dependence of the specific resistant alpha. Uh, and filtrates help making the filter cake more porous and decrease the filtration uh, resistance uh, alpha. Uh, it can be used initially to build up an initial cake, which might mean that uh, in the initial phase uh, more particles actually get stuck in, in the cake instead of uh, them passing through, which might cause uh, better behavior and not such a big outlier in the beginning. Uh, and uh, but it can also be used directly in what is to be filtrated. If you, for example, have something that tends to clog together uh, and make a very dense, uh, impermeable cake, then that would be a problem, right? So you can add uh, things like uh, diatomaceous earth, uh, diatoms. Uh, diatoms is some of the relics of uh, old uh, living beings. Uh, it's the silica containing shells of diatoms. Uh, diatoms live in, in lakes, for example. And uh, there are other stuff you can use as well. And, uh, and for example, in beer brewing, you need to clarify uh, the beer. Uh, and, well, need and need. Well, uh, it's common that beer sold is actually clarified. And you can use that using filters. Uh, but if you do that, you need some kind of filter aid. Uh, 